Hello everyone and welcome to my channel where I review the latest movies and shows on Netflix. Today I'm going to talk about Badland Hunters, a Korean action film starring Ma Dong Seok, aka Don Lee, as a hunter in a post-apocalyptic Seoul. Is this movie worth your time or should you skip it? Let's find out. Badland Hunters is set in a dystopian future where a massive earthquake has destroyed most of Seoul and left the survivors in a state of chaos and scarcity. Water is the most valuable resource and gangs fight over it. Our protagonist, Nam Sun, is a tough and skilled hunter who lives in a small village with his young sidekick, Jiwan. One day, a mysterious group of people arrives at the village. claiming to be from a utopian apartment complex that has clean water, food, and education. They invite some of the villagers, including Jeevan's crush, Suna, to join them. However, Namsan senses something is wrong and decides to follow them. He soon discovers that the apartment complex is actually a hellish prison where a mad scientist, Yang Jiaisu, experiments on humans and turns them into mutant creatures. Nam Sun teams up with a former soldier, Yoon Ho, to rescue Suna and the other captives and stop Yang's evil plans. Badland Hunters is a movie that tries to combine elements of different genres such as horror, sci-fi, thriller, and comedy. It has some impressive action scenes, especially in the second half, where Nam Sun fights his way through the apartment building using his fists, knives, guns, and even a chainsaw. Ma Dong Seok is a charismatic and likable actor who can pull off both serious and humorous moments. He is the main reason to watch this movie as he carries most of the scenes with his presence and charisma. The other actors are decent but not very memorable. The movie also has some good production design and cinematography, creating a contrast between the bleak and dusty outside world and the dark and claustrophobic inside world. However, Badland Hunters also has many flaws that prevent it from being a great movie. The biggest problem is the script, which is full of cliches, plot holes, and inconsistencies. The movie does not explain how the earthquake happened, why water is so scarce, how Yang got his resources and power, or what his ultimate goal is. The movie also does not develop its characters or themes very well. leaving them shallow and one-dimensional. The movie tries to inject some humor and emotion into the story, but they often feel forced and out of place. The movie also suffers from a slow and boring first half, where not much happens, and a rushed and chaotic ending, where too much happens. The movie does not balance its tone or pace very well, making it feel uneven and disjointed. Overall, Badland Hunters is a movie that has some entertaining and exciting moments but also many frustrating and disappointing ones. It is a movie that could have been much better if it had a stronger and smarter script and a more coherent and consistent vision. It is a movie that is not very original or memorable but it is not very terrible or boring either. It is a movie that is somewhere in the middle, a mediocre movie that you can watch if you have nothing else to do. or if you are a fan of Ma Dong Seok I would give it a 5 out of 10 rating that's it for my review of Badland Hunters what did you think of this movie did you like it or hate it let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more movie reviews thanks for watching and see you next time